Saw dudes, welcome to another Operator How To. In this episode, we're taking a look at Zappy Bitch, colloquially known as Twitch, and I did not intend for that to rhyme. Pulse is super lit. Or Rook, what is I did not down her. No, I'm talking yeah, Rook is at like one HP. Rook just got shot up. Twitch is a support operator that utilizes a little mouse droid that fires little tasers that do 10 damage to enemy operators and destroy any kind of electronic gadgets, as well as cameras and mirror windows. The drone has all the same capabilities as a conventional one without the ability to jump, which I presume is a balance decision. You get two of these drones, one in the prep phase, and one you can throw yourself, just like everybody else. So basically think of these drones as replacing the ones that you already get in-game as default. Twitch's drone gets a little over a dozen zappy rounds, which will be more than enough for you to do your main job in the prep phase of taking out enemy cameras. I would argue that this is Twitch's greatest asset. A team of defenders unable to get a bead on the opponent's entrance at the start of the game makes it very difficult for their roamers to act. Typically, my ideal Twitch round consists of taking out as many cameras as I can, maybe three or four, while being careful not to get tracked and shot by the defenders. Now, once the prep phase is ended and the defenders start to divert their focus away from shooting drones, I make my way to the objective room where I start indiscriminately zapping away at as many things as I can. Splody snipers, shock and boxes, Windows XP, all of them. The question then sort of becomes, what do I zap first? And generally what I do is I make my way towards important targets like Windows XP while zapping as many things as I can along the way. Twitch serves an important role as an anti-electronics operator that can take out Mute's Comcast routers and Bandit's shotgun boxes. This lets my teammates make really big fucking holes that eventually lead to really big fucking diffuser plants. Now, like I said before, the zaps do damage, tend to be exact. Big deal, right? Well, it is actually. If you use this thing right, basically think of it like this. When your teammates are pushing into the OBJ room and you're on your drone, your job is to be the most obnoxious motherfucker on the planet. Alright, I have a simple philosophy here on how to get some sick zaps. You ready for it? It's called the zap and skirt. Zap? Skirt. Active scanning is also a really good way of getting people out of hiding spots. In combination with the zaps, it tilts your victim considerably. It also gets their health pool lower than your teammates, and in a gunfight, a bullet or two can make a difference. If you zap someone, say, three times, that's 100 to 70, and an AR round to the chest. But just keep in mind, even if you have two kills, six assists, and three deaths, you're negative, and might as well be AFK. Just like that level 20-something who's 0 and 5. But if an opponent is low enough, you can even zap them enough to down them and even finish them off, which looks hilarious in the final kill cam. But eventually, you'll lose that drone. Fortunately for you, Twitch gets access to some great primary weapon choices. You get the sleek, sexy French FAMAS, and its DPM is actually absurdly high, thanks to a high fire rate. This is mitigated somewhat by high upward kick, if your aim is true, you'll kill an enemy before that even matters. With an ACOG scope, it can be a little tricky to get used to. I try to make a habit of burst firing with this thing to keep from potatoing too hard. With enough practice, you'll find that the FAMAS is a very lethal tool. And always remember, headshots are always one shot. My preferred loadout with this thing consists of an ACOG scope, a foregrip, and a flash hider. Twitch's other weapon options get overlooked by the existence of the FAMAS, but that doesn't mean they're not fun to use or viable. The DMR is pretty good, but DMRs in general aren't really used in Pro League for a number of reasons, none of which are particularly relevant to you or me, oh, wow. but it can kill three armored opponents with two body shots at range. If it's more up your alley, go right ahead. The shotgun, on the other hand, is a whole different story. I'm a big fan of pump shotties, and the French one is no exception. It also has the quirk of being able to use a foregrip. I have no idea if it even does anything. but. Logically speaking, you should use it anyway, because you can't equip anything else in that slot. So, all that being said, when should you play Twitch? Among questions like, will you be ever fix the game's netcode, should I play Thatcher, or should I play Twitch, is a common one. You've got a Thermite, a Habana, someone needs to clear the way to make big fucking holes. Who's gonna do it? Now, Twitch doesn't have the same kind of raw gadget destroyer power that, say, Thatcher has, because he has a grenade that has a splash radius that can go through walls. But if you work the drone more like a surgical instrument, 
It can do that job just as well, and then some. On a team that already has reinforcement breachers, you'll do comfortably with the Twitch on your team. Twitch is also a great operator to play solo queue with, in my experience, because her ability to support as an attacker is unparalleled by most. She can distract during pushes. She can take out cameras. She can help your teammates make really big fucking holes. Hell, you can even take out yokai drones and Valkyrie cameras with the thing. She also gets access to claymores, which are awesome. And you should learn how to use them. Look up placement spots. In capable hands, you have a support operator that can fill in just about every role that you need. Camera hunting, scouting, gadget destruction, and some great weapon choices to help your teammates make the final move. Twitch is a solid all-around choice for your team. And if you haven't bought her already, I highly suggest you do so. And that's everything you need to know about Zappy Bitch. If you liked the video, if you liked the memes, be sure to subscribe for more in the series, guys. Give it a like, share it with your friends. It really, really does go a long way and supports the channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys Wednesday. And yes, I, I will actually upload on time this time. Deuces. <laughs>